everyone how are you all today so welcome back to my channel name learning to learn uh, in the last class of banking we were discussing about the characteristics of bank and today we'll be starting with various types of bank this entire series would be completely in english but if you need the entire series in hindi you can just go to my channel and you can get the entire playlist of banking and financial institution in hindi so let's start with today's lecture now uh, if you remember in the last class we have discussed about what do we understand by the term bank okay we have understood that much and then we have also understood what do we mean by the characteristics and the functions of the bank now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, you can say start with types of banks let me give you a quick recap before moving forward what happens usually in a bank is bank is a financial institution or an organization or a company which acts as a linking pin between the people who need money and the people who have excess money so all the people who have excess money they can put their money in the bank in form of savings accounts uh, fd investments etc and then bank provides money to those people who need money in form of loans it could be uh, financial loans business loans personal loans home loans etc now bank as Uh, you can say is a linking pin between two people or uh, two kinds of people or two people who have different uh, relations with money bank has various types we can have various types of bank we can classify the banks either in scheduled and non scheduled or else uh, from various other types so we can have on base of ownership on base of law on base of functions so these are the types of banks which you can classify so let's start with the basic classification that is on basis of law if i talk about on base of law we can have two different types of banks that is the scheduled bank and non scheduled bank understanding scheduled and non scheduled bank is very very easy scheduled bank are those banks whose name is mentioned in the rbi sec second schedule so there are schedules mentioned in the rbi and in that particular second schedule if the bank name is there it means it is a, a, a scheduled bank it means it has followed some rules and regulations to fall into that scheduled bank now let me give you a detailed one see here uh, as you can see the slide bank listed in the second schedule of RBI act 1934 so what do you need to remember about the scheduled bank scheduled bank are those banks which are mentioned in the RBI act 1934 schedule 2 the second schedule there should be mentioned the name of the bank in order to be included in the second schedule the bank must fulfill certain conditions yes there should be certain conditions which should be fulfilled by the bank so that they can be included in that schedule so what are those conditions they should have a paid up capital and reserves up to 5 lakh this is one of the conditions and of course it should have many various other conditions and we can classify the scheduled banks into further two categories that is scheduled commercial banks and scheduled cooperative banks so what do we know about scheduled bank scheduled bank are those banks which are mentioned in the second schedule of rbi act 1934 that is the first point second point the scheduled bank must fulfill certain conditions one of those conditions is having a paid up capital of more than 5 lakh rupees and scheduled bank could be further classified into two things or two types that is scheduled commercial bank and scheduled cooperative banks opposite to scheduled bank if i talk about non scheduled banks non scheduled banks are those banks which are not man mentioned in the second schedule of rbi so this was you can say a quick small differentiation between a scheduled bank and a non scheduled bank so this was the first classification of bank according to law but if i talk about on the basis of ownership we have public banks and private banks private banks as the name suggests it is owned by a group of people like uh, private companies private organizations etc 
whereas if i talk about public sector banks these banks are owned by huge number of public usually the government now let us understand the difference in detail so here are public banks and private sector banks public sector banks are owned by government or the majority stakes or the majority shares of such particular bank are held by government so the basic objective of public bank is to serve people help people uh, serve them better give them good financial resources etc and usually government runs the bank so government has all the authority and responsibility what is to be done in the banks and uh, how to manage the banking activities etc whereas if i talk about private sector bank these are owned by private individuals and because private individuals are holding such banks or have the majority of shares in those banks then they run it according to their own uh you can say need it could be because of profitability it, it would it could be because of better returns or it could be because of any other reason but these are held by certain private individuals certain group of individuals not by government so if i talk about the ownership related to the ownership of banks we have two different banks public sector banks private sector banks public sector banks are owned by the government whereas private sectors are held by few individuals that is the main difference now i hope you have understood at least four types of banks in this particular short video the first is on the basis of law we can classify the banks either in scheduled and non scheduled whereas if i talk about ownership we have public bank and private sector bank in the next video we will be discussing about other types of banks that could be on base of functions we can have commercial bank industrial bank savings bank central bank agricultural bank regional rural banks etc so all the extra types of banks or all the other types of banks we are going to study in the next video so make sure you watch the next video stay tuned and if you have any comments or doubts or any suggestions please do mention the comment section below okay everyone bye take care